let us continue with our uh, lesson over here so the next thing is that we need to work with the teacher and we have already created a type adapter and the next thing is to register our box so let's go to the main the dart file and over here i'll create a weight and hype dot the open the box and pass in the type that we need we need a teacher type and then i'll just pass in the name of the box teachers so now we have opened the box of the teacher then we can just go to the teacher page over here and i'll just create a lead variable of our box and pass in the type of the teacher right and then it should be of a okay i need to import this box let's import this particular box why i am not able to import it so i'll just call it as a teacher box first of all and uh, then let me import this package okay i got it so i'll also use a init state over here to initialize my uh, box over here so let's go and add the teacher box that we have which is of equals to hive dot the box and pass in the teachers object over here so this name should match the name that we have open here so it's look good for this build method we don't need a container i think i'll just copy it from the student page so i'll just copy from here to here just copy it and paste it over here and the only thing that we have to replace is with the uh, student box with the teacher box all of the other remains the same because all of the field is the same as the student box right and here we just have to change it to the teacher okay so we got that and the next thing is that we need to create a one page to have uh, add our teacher right so currently we don't have that page and others look good so what we'll do is we'll duplicate this student page just copy the add student page and paste it over here and just rename this page to add the teacher add teacher underscore page right that should be fine and now what i'll do is i'll just rename this one to the uh, teacher teacher and then i'll just copy it and paste it everywhere that i need to replace it so add the here too and here too right so that should be fine and next we need a key global key we need a id name age subject that should be same and the box type we need a type of the teacher and then this should be of a teacher box teacher box yeah so that should be fine and replace this and then we need to open the box of the teacher right teachers so once we got that and then we have a title as a add teacher that's great and then next is we will have an id and a name age subject all of our the same so the next thing is that we need to have this one replaced with our teacher box and then teacher box we need to pass in the teacher over here and the object or the field is the same so that's look good and the rest of the thing i think we don't have to change and let's go back to our teacher page and then we can call our add teacher screen or the page from here so that's look good right so let us try to rebuild our application and uh, let's try to go to a student and uh, did we miss anything it should be we have a three four and let's give a demo of a four and age let's give as a 12 subject let's give as a math over here just save it and let's let's go back and let me reload it 
okay so we got that it's working fine and let's go to the teacher we don't have any of the teacher let's go one and add it one let's say of a demo one and age let's say uh 45 and subject as english and just save it let's save a few more two and two and just keep the same just a three and let's give a three just give a age as a let's say a 30 and let's give as an english and let's have one more number four just save it and let's say this one as a 35 and this one should be of a math just save that and just go back okay so we don't get that let's hard reload it okay so we got it so that's also i think we have a teacher and the student box is ready so then the next lecture what we will do is we will see how we can have reactive nature so when we just add in so we don't have to uh, half reload it so it it just works as reactive whenever you just add in so it should automatically read what's the change on our hype box and whatever is change is made then it should automatically populate over here we don't have to half reload so let's do it on the next lecture till then have a great day